Hey y'all, uh, it's pretty late, um, I, but I wanted to make this video. I figured out two ways to help solve Windows Live Movie Maker problems. So, give them to you quick. Uh, computer, properties, uh, if you're struggling with your memory, which I was, uh, instead of going ahead and buying memory and installing it in my computer, I went ahead and went to advanced uh, system settings, performance settings, go to advanced uh, virtual memory down here and you can change about how much of your hard drive space you want to allocate as memory um, uh, this is the number I came up with yours may be different so let's figure out what that is you take your uh, RAM here total RAM take 8 since this is in megabytes you want to go ahead and convert your gigabytes to megabytes times 1024 then go ahead and take that times 1.5 and that will give you a good number to enter in here to allocate some hard drive space to virtual memory it's not as good as a new uh, installing new RAM but it is still efficient you will hit set apply I'm not going to do that because I'm not changing anything and then your computer will ask you to restart so go ahead and restart okay the second thing uh, we need to get into the program files where our um, uh, Windows Live Movie Maker is. So you get into your program files, scroll down Windows Live. Uh, for whatever reason, it's in Photo Gallery, Windows Movie Maker. Right click, go to Properties, go over to Compatibility. Mine, for whatever reason, was in Windows 95. So it was saying that it was compatible to Windows 95. I do have Windows 8, but Windows 7 works for me so I clicked on Windows 7 I clicked run this program in compatibility mode make sure that's checked apply OK and it allowed me to render high definition videos and it didn't give me a problem with memory space it's the first time I was able to do this uh, I hope this works it was a combination of a number of videos that I found so credit goes 